Hello, my name is Angela Karanja, founder of Top Kid Edutainment, where we catapult children to greatness by helping them develop from the inside out so that they can become successful international citizens. I am a children's inspirational author, empowerment and educational speaker and entertainer. At Top Kid Edutainment, we believe that give any child the right strategies, motivation and empowerment, see them become successful. Any child can be successful regardless of their circumstances. We have a blueprint that can help any child become successful no matter what. If you think this is a bold claim to make, let me assure you it is not. The information and programs that I share with the children literally transitioned my life from this to this. Now look at that. This blueprint has gone on to transition hundreds of children from, from all backgrounds and in all sorts of circumstances to become successful children. You will understand how, how surefire this blueprint is when I share with you my whole story of how I transitioned myself from a young girl who barely knew where the next meal was coming from, experiencing excruciating abuse at home and in the village, experiencing extreme poverty, hard childhood labor and all sorts of problems in childhood. Not only did I become a top kid, right, performing best at school, but I became a kind of a problem slayer. I went on to qualify to go to one of the best schools in Kenya and I've gone on to become a successful international citizen. In my life, studies, research and work with children, I have come to the conclusion that there are only two types of children in this world. Those who have been introduced and those who will be introduced into a higher personal awareness and those who will default into ignorance. I will also tell you that no circumstances, absolutely no circumstance, can harm a child or help them unless it is inside of the child. Nothing outside of the child can break or make them. And this is information that I share with children. And just in case you're thinking that this is too much information or too strong an information to share, to share with children, I will tell you, uh -uh, I made my first conscious decision to escape extreme poverty and extreme abuse at the age of five. And that is when someone introduced me to this aspect of personal awareness. At age five, I made a, a serious, serious decision that would change the course of my life. Now, I have mentioned to you that there are only two types of children in this world, right? Those who will grow up ignorant and those who will be introduced into a personal, a higher personal awareness. Now, here are the two characteristics in each group. Let's start with those who will default into ignorance, right? How do you know those who default into ignorance? You will know them by their fruits. That's, what, that's when you will see low self-esteem. You will see those children bullying those are the children who are going to be bullied. Those are the children who will commit suicide. Those are the children who will have poor personal grades. Those are the children who will experience childhood depression. Those are the children who result into self-harming. Those are the children who have negative self-talk. Those are the children who throw tantrums and try to control others. Those are the children who will suffer with panic attacks and fear. Those are the children who will result into drug addictions. Those are the children who will have a poverty, a limitation, and a lack mentality and those are the children who will experience most of the childhood problems that we see today. 
On the other hand, we have children who have a higher self-awareness. How do you recognize these children? They have high self-esteem. They become encouragers instead of bullies. They become children who are resilient and can stand any external forces. And these children will not be bullied. We have, we have these children who will have high regard for self and life. These are children who would not dare take their own life. They would not dare commit suicide. We have children who will achieve high personal grades. We have children who love themselves and love others instead of of resulting into childhood depression. We have children that protect themselves from any mental harm. Then we have children that have positive self-talk. We have children that have self-control and ask for what they need. And we have children who act in faith and assurance instead of panic attacks and fear. We have children who have a self-drive that comes from within instead of resulting into drugs and addictions. And then we have children who have who are creative. They have a limitless attitude and children who are always coming up with new ideas to sort the issues that are going around them. We have children who are resourceful and many more. Now, I hope you understand. Hey, I really hope by now you understand why I'm excited and enthusiastic about my mission to catapult children to greatness. I'm excited for two reasons, because I know it is possible for any child to become the best of themselves. And number two, I know that if we don't act, if we don't act today, most children will default into the ignorant state, into that ignorant mentality, into that ignorant attitude, right? And our hope of creating a better world will be lost forever. I will tell you a short story just to coin my mission. And this is a story about a woman who bought a parrot. Right. A woman wanted a parrot. So she went to the parrot shop and she bought a parrot. She was excited. She brought the parrot home. And she put the parrot next to her. <laughs> and she watched the parrot. And the parrot watched her. She watched the parrot. And the parrot watched her. Oh, the parrot didn't speak. So the next morning, she went to the pet shop and said to the man, This parrot didn't speak. And the man said, Ha, 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 I know why. Parrots love to be in cages, beautiful cages they love. So the woman quickly bought a cage and took it home. And she put the parrot into the cage. And then she watched the parrot. She watched the parrot. But the parrot watched her. All night again she watched. But the parrot didn't speak. So the woman went back to the pet shop and she said to the man, this parrot didn't speak. And the man said to her, oh, I know, parrots love ladders. They like to climb up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh, when the woman quickly bought a ladder and took it to the parrot. And sure enough, the parrot went up and down, up and down the ladder. But the parrot didn't speak. So the woman went back to the pet shop. And she said, this parrot will not speak. And the man said, oh, I do, I do, I do. Parrots love mirrors. They love mirrors. So the woman quickly bought a mirror and took it home and put it next to the cage. And the parrot sure went up and down the ladder, looking at itself on the mirror, an occasional glance at the mirror. And it went up and down. The next morning, the woman went back to the pet shop. And she said to the man, you will not believe what happened last night. <laughs> My parrot died. <laughs> and the man said, Really, the parrot died? And the woman said, Yeah, the parrot died. <laughs> and the man looked at the woman pitifully. And he said, 
Now tell me. Did the parrot say anything before he died? <laughs> and the woman looked at the man and he said, As a matter of fact, <laughs> the parrot said, Don't, don't they sell any food down there? <laughs> and then he died. Now, so it is with our children. We can give them anything. We can give them anything external. We can take them to schools. We can buy them clothes. We can take them to places. But there is one thing we must do. If we don't feed their mind, if we don't feed their mind, if we don't feed their mind with this personal awareness, our children will die. They may not die physically like the parrot, but they sure will live dead lives. Now you know something, I know something about you. The fact that you're still listening to me, I know that you are interested you're totally interested in the success of children you are a parent you are an educator you are a philanthropist or you are an aid worker that is totally interested in the success of of children now i want you to do something i want you to go into our page where it says where our success programs are and identify what programs what programs match the, the age of the children that you're looking to, to help become successful, right? And then, if you want to get any of them, right, just go click the button and get any of them. If you want customized programs for schools, either for children homes, secure training centers, or youth offending institutes, or any other children and community establishments, please contact me. And my contact email is down here. It is Angela at topkidedutainment.com and just know that I am also available for speaking engagements on any issues on children development and success. Thank you so much and you know what? I know that you and me, we have this fire, we have this dream to see our children become absolutely successful. We can change the world by just doing this one thing, feeding our children with personal awareness. Thank you very much.